Hello everyone, my name is Cami and welcome to my channel, Cami's Corner. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back. On my channel, we do mainly fragrance content with a sprinkle of Disney and lifestyle content. But in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Kringle Ginger Lily and Palm Candle. I think this is their older um, wax blend. I think this is their like their paraffin wax blend. So these ones might be a little bit stronger than the ones you can find on their website now since they have switched to soy wax. But you guys might have saw that little paid promotion thing at the beginning of the video. They're not paying me for this review. I bought this candle with my own money at TJ Maxx slash HomeGoods. But because I am shouting out my discount code, they want me to use the paid promotion tag but all thoughts are my own but yeah if you're interested in purchasing any candles from kringle i do have a discount code linked in the description of all my videos and i am an affiliate so i do earn a little bit of commission whenever you guys use my code i have noticed a few of you guys have used my code with kringle which that means the absolute world to me so thank you so much but this is the ginger lily and palm candle the scent description is Ginger Lily and Palm, a timeless tropical super scent. Ginger Lily and Palm boosts of sparkling citrus notes, fresh pineapple, acai berries, along with white ginger lily, rain-drenched palm leaves, and white musk. It has top notes of sparkling citrus, acai berry, mid notes of ginger lily, lush greens, and pineapple, and base notes of palm leaves and white musk. Here's the packaging. It's absolutely stunning. And I got this at Marshall's. For $7.99, which is an absolute steal. I'm going to um, take some notes on what my thoughts are. So let's smell it on cold. Ooh, this is nice. I, it's really light, to be honest. I'm cold. I think it's like a 4 out of 10. It's not super strong, but I do like what I'm smelling. I don't know what ginger lily smells like, but I am getting a faint acai berry kind of scent note with that palm leaves and musk. On cold, it smells really nice, and that's why I picked it up, but it's just not the strongest on cold. But I'm excited to see how it does while burning. I am going to get this candle lit, and I will check back in in probably a half hour because the crumble candles usually don't take very long to fully pull out. So let's light this candle. Okay, and she is lit. So I will be back in about a half hour to let you guys know my thoughts. I do have an open concept living space. So the candle has a lot of room to uh, try to uh, fill um, because it is an open concept. So I will let you guys know my thoughts in about a half hour. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. This is what we're looking like. And to be honest, I can't smell a thing unless I am standing right here where my camera is. Unfortunately, I can't smell a thing. So right now for throw, while it's burning, I'm going to say it's a 4 out of 10 still. I can only smell it like right on top of it. And I'm getting like an aquatic kind of palm leaf kind of scent. But other than that, I'm not really smelling anything. So I'm going to wait till it's fully pulled out. And then I'll let you guys know what the throw is then. But for now, this is about a 4 out of 10 in my open concept space. Okay, so it's been another hour. It's been about an hour and 30 minutes since I started burning this candle. Sorry if you can hear Miss Dolly drinking her water in the background. <laughs> so I hope it's not too loud. Um, but this candle has not increased in strength at all. Again, I have a very open concept living space where I'm burning this candle. This candle would probably work better in an office and or bedroom. Just right now, like I can smell it when I'm right over here by where I'm filming, but like when I go sit on my couch, I can't smell anything at all. I think maybe it went up to a five out of 10, but that's probably the highest I can rate it right now. It is like a very spa-like 
aquatic like palm leaf scent which is really nice and i'm kind of disappointed on the throw maybe this is one that i can burn while i'm taking a bath or a shower but for now this is a five out of ten it's not fully pulled out yet so i'm gonna still give it another probably half hour and then i'll check back in okay so here we are almost two hours later actually two and a half hours later and it's finally fully pulled out i will say it did increase just a little bit I would say this is like a 6 out of 10 um, while burning. Uh, I'm glad I only paid $7.99 for it. Uh, maybe the um, different wax blend now that it's soy wax, that might be a little bit stronger. But this one I wouldn't purchase just because it's not as strong as I'd like it to be. I think in the bathroom it'll definitely be like an 8 out of 10. But just in like an open concept living room. It was not very good. It definitely has like a spa aquatic kind of vibe to it with that palm leaf. I did burn fruit and flakes from Kringle in my open concept and that one blew me out of the water. But for this one, I'm unfortunately gonna have to rate it a six out of 10. But yeah, let me know if you guys have burned this candle. I'll continue to burn it probably throughout the rest of the month. And then when I empty it at the end, of April, I will give you guys my thoughts and let you know if it got stronger as time went on. But yeah, that is all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know if you've tried this candle. And if you're interested in more Kringle candles, I do have a discount code where you guys can save some money on your purchase and I earn a little bit of commission. But thanks again, you guys, for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.